We got 15 games to talk about, and uh, I'm excited to do it. So let's get into it, guys. Woo. We'll start in the order in which they're played. We'll start with the 1 p.m. games. And why don't we start in the NFC East, gentlemen, uh, a game between the Dallas Cowboys and Washington Redskins. Uh, the two, two teams coming off uh, different types of losses in week one. The Cowboys played a very tight game with the Giants that they kind of let slip away, a terrible clock management mistake at the end by Terrence Williams, but there was no given that they were going to pull that game out anyway. It was a very tight game uh, that went against the Cowboys. The Redskins, on the other hand, are uh, on a short week after a really embarrassing loss, I thought, almost at that level, uh, uh, to the Steelers at home where Kirk Cousins did not look good. So I guess that's what I'm looking This is a quarterback matchup for me. I want to see if the Cowboys um, with Dak Prescott can actually score some points, get Des Bryant involved, do some things, uh, see if Ezekiel Elliott can get going. So I'm looking at their whole offense. And then, uh, Wes, on the Redskins side of it, Kirk Cousins, is he going to be in that scary, ugly zone that he was in week one, or is it just a bad game that he had? What do you think? Well, I think he can get right against the Dallas defense, which uh, in, a, in a matchup against the Giants offensive line that everybody ex assumed would be a major weak spot, mm -hmm. guys like Marshall Newhouse, who's been the worst right tackle in the NFL the past couple of years, were absolutely sh pitching shutouts against Dallas's defensive line. So Kirk Cousins should have plenty of time to find Jordan Reed, Deshaun Jackson, who looks as explosive as ever, Pierre Garçon, maybe even Josh Doxson. I agree. All the concerns about the Cowboys defense going into this season, I think, showed up against the Giants. I know it was only 20 points, but you looked around the field and you thought, where are the plays coming from for this Cowboys defense? Where is the pass rush? They got pushed around in the running game against the Giants. As you mentioned, uh, not a great offensive line there. And I, ju I just thought, like, is this Cowboys team really set up to win with offense with Dak Prescott as their quarterback? Like, are they really going to be ready to win some shootouts? Because I think that's the type of games they're going to get into. Yeah, I mean, their best defense right now is their offense. The way they played in the first half when they controlled the clock for 22-plus yep. minutes, that's the formula in Dallas until you get some of these suspended players back. But they only had one play out of 75 that went for 20-plus yards, which goes against a little bit what we saw in the preseason where Prescott showed great chemistry with Des Bryant. We all know what happened there. I think a big part of it is Des Bryant is the best player on the field. you got to get him involved. Uh, Jason Witten seems to be the security blanket for, De for Dak Prescott right I, now. I like what I saw out of Dak Prescott, but everyone needs to back off about how good he looked. They, they averaged five yards per attempt. In the fourth quarter, he went six for 17 for 66 yards. So they had a disastrous fourth quarter, and the offense reminded me a little bit of what it looked like with Brandon Whedon, which is a whole lot of six- and seven-yard passes, 14 that's throws to Jason Witten for 64 yards. So that is inefficient that, and boring. That is not what Cowboys fans want to hear because if you remember, now it seems like forever ago, but three weeks ago the Cowboys thought they had the, the greatest of all luxuries, which was a veteran star quarterback and then this young hotshot that could take over at any time. Now we need to see him actually play like a hotshot. It's still his first NFL game against – I think a Giants defense yeah. that a number of people probably thought, oh, the Giants are just going to be last year's Giants, and their defense is much improved. Now, again, I, everyone now, the thing is in Washington, you know, <sighs> Breland and Josh Norman coming off a pretty awful game as a defense. You know, Breland is still a very good cornerback, and this is going to be a bigger test, I think, through the air than, the, than for Dallas than it was even last week. They need to take the reins off of Dak Prescott against the Redskins defensive line that got worse over the offseason. Yeah, All right. I don't like this Redskins defense either. Could be a lot of points here. 